My family and I fled to London, along with thousands of other Jewish families from Russia in 1846. This was after Alexander III rose to the throne, and we suffered several attacks. Some of my friends were killed by the pogroms, and my home was destroyed. We came over here in the hope of finding a better life, but that has just not been the case. The anti-Semitism that we have found in the slums of London has made it hard to settle in. We are rejected as we fight for the scarce food and jobs in the area. While it isn't as bad as it was in Russia, we're still not accepted for who we are. We are stereotypically seen as old, coat-wearing, grey-haired men. Today I finished reading this Oliver Twist, and thanks to ignorant men like Dickens, every Jew is seen as a fagan. This opinion isn't helped by the church, who increase the negative attitudes towards us, and make us out to be shady, moneylenders, murderers, and even the devil. It is true that a large number of us engage in the practice of moneylending, and have done so for many years, but what choice do we have? Trying to find work is difficult when we are banned from many jobs. It's true that some of us have had success, such as Benjamin Disraeli, who became the first Jewish Prime Minister in 1874, but he had previously been converted from the faith which we follow. Traitor. The 1858 Jewish Disabilities Bill allowed us to sit in Parliament, but still stopped us from entering other high offices. Why should my religious opinions impede my political ability? As one Protestant dissenter said when asked, is the Jew a man? The Jew is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Even today when walking home from the local synagogue, I was cursed and spat at. I'm treated no better than the common stray dog. I understand people are unhappy about the large influx of Jews when times are difficult in the slums, but why are we treated so differently just because we have different faiths? Some of us have done a great amount of good. Let's not forget Moses Montefiore, who was knighted in 1837. It must be said that our conditions are improving under Queen Victoria's reign, and they are vastly better than the previous century, but some still shun us because of our lack of roots and because we live outside of mainstream society. But Jewish settlement dates back to at least 1066. Why is it taking so long to be accepted for whom we are? It's probably just nothing more than jealousy. But are we ever going to be fully accepted, or are we always going to be pushed to the outskirts of society?